Princess Nadine with DIY Sweets. Today I'm going to show you just how simple making chocolate syrup can be. A lot of recipes call for chocolate syrup and this way you don't have to buy the store syrup that has all the processed stuff in it. So let's show you just how easy it is to make chocolate syrup. I have my pan on the stove and I'm going to add my water my sugar my cocoa powder and just a dash of salt so when I do a dash of salt, I like to just put a little bit in my hand so that I can just go like that and put a little bit in. Otherwise, I find I get too much in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my heat on to a low heat. And then, with this whisk, I'm just going to whisk the, all of this together. So right now I'm doing a pretty vigorous whisk because I'm trying to get all of that uh, cocoa powder dissolved and mixed into the water. Now I'm going to continue whisking and cooking on the low heat, whisking like this constantly until this begins to simmer. Once it begins to simmer, I will remove it from the heat and add the vanilla. Now because this is on a low heat, it's not going to simmer real quick. It's going to take a little while, but that's okay because we don't want this to burn and that's why we're doing it on a low heat. It's very important that you cook it till it comes to a simmer so that the sugar is totally dissolved and we don't have a gritty syrup. This chocolate syrup goes good on ice cream, it goes good poured over um, brownies, it goes good in baking if the recipe calls for syrup. I am slowing down my whisking because I want to be able to see when it starts doing some real little tiny bubbles because that's when I'm going to want to stop. So I do keep moving it and whisking, but I'm not whisking vigorously. I'm just kind of keeping it moving with the whisk. Remember, simmer is right before boil. So we're not looking for it to boil up. We're just looking to start seeing the bubbles of it starting to bubble up. And when it gets to that point, we want to take it directly off the heat. Now the other thing you're going to notice is when this starts to simmer, it's also going to begin to thicken. We are looking for both the beginning to simmer and for this to be a little bit thicker. I'm seeing as I stir it, it seems to be getting a little bit more glossy, which would tell you that the sugar is becoming finer and more dissolved into it. One thing to remember about really good cooking and really good stuff when you're making it is that trying to find a faster way to do it is not always the best way. Sometimes you just have to have the patience. You don't want to turn the heat up so it'll get done sooner. You don't want to stop whisking it because if it's not moving around it will start simmering a little bit faster. You just want to be patient and work with it until it gets to that point because you want to make sure you have a very smooth and silky type chocolate syrup and that only happens by taking your time with it. I'm seeing this is starting to turn a lot more dark brown where before it was a little bit lighter brown and now it's getting that darker brown color so I can tell it's getting closer 
I can even feel as I'm whisking it that the consistency has changed a little bit. You'll notice just how dark and rich this is getting. Almost all of that lighter colored brown has disappeared. In this video, I'm not actually showing you the whole time it takes to bring this to the simmer. I'm showing you glimpses of the different stages. And I really can't tell you how long for sure it would take because everyone's low is going to be a little bit different. And where you live and your altitude, your barometric pressure, what the weather's like is also going to contribute to how fast it comes to a simmer. I know I have a house in Utah and I also have a house in New York. My house in Utah, uh, that's this house, I have an electric stove top and I find it takes quite a bit longer for things to get to the temperature that they need to get to. In New York, I have a gas stove top. There, I find that things get there really quickly. I prefer using the electric. I know it takes a little bit longer, but I just feel like I have a little bit more control of the temperature. With the gas, it doesn't have near as many settings. In New York, it's an apartment we have, and so that's what came with the apartment. So I didn't get to select what kind of stove we had. I know a lot of cooks would prefer the gas, so it really is a preference for you. But as far as me being able to tell you how long this will take to come to a simmer, I really can't tell you that. It really does depend on what you're using and how well it heats up and keeps the consistent temperature. I do know for me it has taken right now, we're going on about 20 minutes with this. I'm guessing if I were in New York with my gas one, I'd have been done in 10 or less, but I'm not sure. So you just have to keep watching it. The main thing you're looking at is when it's going to come to a simmer. As you notice, it is just starting to get those little bubbles. That is simmering. So we're going to take it off the heat now. And we're going to add our vanilla. And we're just going to stir that in. This needs to be stored in the refrigerator. But I don't want to put it in the refrigerator right now because it's very hot. So I'm going to let this cool to about room temperature. Probably in about 15-20 minutes I will pour it into another container once it's cool enough. It won't be too hot for that container because I'm going to pour it into a plastic container so I need it to cool a little bit. When it comes to room temperature I can put it in the fridge. And then you just store it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. My chocolate has been sitting in this pan now for a while and it is cooled quite a bit. This is a really good make-ahead type chocolate sauce and it is so much better and richer than the store-bought ones. Here is my chocolate sauce. I'm going to store it in the fridge and it'll be ready for my ice cream, recipes that need chocolate sauce, and any other thing I want to put chocolate sauce on. This is Nadine with DIY Sweets. Enjoy! Enjoy.